And welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker for the Nintendo GameCube. Alright my friends, welcome back. So we're still in the Earth Temple. Let's just go ahead and take control of Medley yet again using the Command Melody. Because we both have a reflective item now that we can use. In the last episode I got the Mirror Shield. And now I'm going to show off the, uh, the, the two player mechanic I guess you could say. Using uh, light reflective tools. So, as you can see on the wall over there, there is actually some kind of swirly thing. Uh, that's telling us that we can interact with it by redirecting light at it. So that's pretty nifty. And destroys a wall. <laughs> the power of uh, light in this place seems to destroy a lot of things. They all seem to get incredibly sun damaged. Right, so anyway, um, there was some enemies in there. I have already taken them out because uh, they were kind of in the way. And now this room might look very familiar to some of you. This is actually, yep, you may have guessed it, this is the main hall of the dungeon. So now that we both have a reflective item, we can go ahead and take advantage of uh, both streams of light that are entering this room. I'm never going to get this tune out of my head. I must have played it about a thousand times now. Right, so... We've already interacted with one of these uh, sun-like switches in the last episode, so we know what they kind of do. So let's go ahead and operate both of them. And what that does is that clears away all the dark evil smog that's in the way. And it also lowers the stairs that we can now see <laughs> into some kind of underground area. And this is where the uh, puzzles get a little bit more challenging from here on out, because... Uh, the puzzles that we've been dealing with recently haven't been exactly too challenging for this uh, this level dungeon, so avoid these boneheads if you can. I know they do chase after you, but if they do hit you, you'll be jinxed and you won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to uh, swing your sword or anything. You'll be stunted. We don't like that. Right, so the Wind Waker isn't powerful enough to destroy this uh, giant rock. As you can see on the front there is a harp icon, which means that Medley's harp is the uh, the instrument we need to get rid of it. Look at this skull photo bombing. <laughs> Here's one moment of fame, I guess. You can blow them away with a Deku Leaf. That is something you can do if you want. But I'm not going to bother with that, I'm just going to get the heck out of here. No! Come back, Medley. I'm sorry. Not too carried away carrying you. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, in this room there are two Reededs. Now, as you may know, the sun actually freezes them, which gives you a very good opportunity to be able to attack them. This one's wearing out. Oh, wow, I just caught him on the backlash. There we go. <laughs> right, so let's do some more sun damage. All right. We're all gonna love that sun damage, haven't we? Especially uh, us fellow game collectors as well. If you go past a shop window and they've got some video games in the shop window, that's some of the most, like, I don't know, distressing things for me. Like some really rare N64 titles and their uh, front covers are being damaged by the sun. They've gone all, like, yellowy and, and discoloured. I'm like, no, what are you doing to my mental physique? So I've chosen to leave Medley back there because uh, there's a couple of floor masters in here and I don't really want Medley and I getting separated so I'm gonna kind of leave her there not only that we don't actually need to be in this room for too long we just have to push one of these uh, mirrors forward and you might want to go ahead and make sure that you get the uh, skull hammer at this point a beastly weapon because there's a little switch over here that we can go ahead and knock down and that's gonna uh, allow us to have some light yeah there you go which is going to redirect light into that room there. We will go into that room at some point, but first of all, let's just go ahead and avoid being taken back to the start of the dungeon, because we all know how fun that is. They throw skulls at you? I mean, how dark is that? Alright. Uh, she normally stays at the door you entered in, yeah, so there she is. I'll just leave her there for the time being, because we've got another room, similar to the last, but this is a little bit more trickier, I would say. There's actually about maybe six, seven or eight of them floor masters in here. Um, if you follow the route that I'm about to show you, there's a couple of pillars here. Um, this seems to work very well, so I always remember to go right, left, right, and then left again. And then what that does for us is that actually avoids all of the floor masters. 
it gets us a small key, the, uh, the smog disappears and it reveals where they all are. So as you can see that seems to be the best route to take in order to avoid them all. Because you don't really want to be crossing paths with about six of them things because that is really not good. Alright, so I'm hoping to perhaps clear this, uh, this dungeon in this episode. I would like that. I've probably got about 20 to 30 minutes left depending on how quick I do this. So with any luck we can kind of speed through this uh, harm free. No, don't start flying. That takes up too much precious time. Fly up there a second. What I'm actually going to do, I'm not a speedrunner, I have said this before, but I do try and find methods of speeding things up, like this for example. I don't want to push that block, I just want to fly across using the Deku Leaf. And not only that, but when you get into this room here, there's actually another one of these uh, boneheads with evil smoke around it. Um, or fire smoke, either either, but you can actually blow them out. So that's just, I don't know, that's just peachy, you know? Right now, Medley's going to have to do something for us here. We need to redirect light uh, in different areas once again. And there is a room coming up with uh, many mirrors in. That seems to be the highlight of this dungeon from what I can remember. Loads of uh, light redirections. Let's just get rid of this guy first. I've accidentally destroyed the statue in the back. I'm sorry, statue. I just wanted you to stay there a minute. I'm actually going to take that guy out because he's getting in the way. Oh, there's another one there. Ah, oh, screw it then. There's about three in here. Are you joking? Oh, nice one, Medley. <laughs> she's not even doing anything and she's helping me. <laughs> nice. Okay, right. I didn't even mean to take out the enemies in this room, but I guess I'll do it anyway. I actually want to get rid of this giant statue over the back there. Because right behind that, there is another door. And I think that might be the door that takes us into the main puzzle room I like to call it or maybe this is where the boss door is actually no no these this is the coffin room yes the famous coffin room <laughs> what are the coffin lids <laughs> they they're killing the bats I don't believe it friendly fire by the coffin lids <laughs> whoa there we go <laughs> the coffin lids were helping me out I can't believe that I think it's a little bit morbid actually there's nobody in them coffins, and yet the coffins are trying to kill us. What are they trying to do? Put us inside the coffin? Are they trying to obtain a body? I don't know. This is a creepy-ass dungeon, thinking about it. There's skulls, there's ghosts. I mean, if this game weren't so bright and colourful, I'd be pretty freaking creeped out right now. Oh, get off of us. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to clear a dungeon, do you mind? Now there's a spiral staircase here, there is no organ playing at the end of it, so unfortunately Ganondorf isn't awaiting us. Um, but actually there is a boss door, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump off in this direction down here, because as you can see right down the bottom there, there's actually... Oh crap, no medley! No! No, no medley, no, I'm coming! Get out of there medley! Freaking run, oh I'm jinxed! I'm jinxed, get the heck out of there! I didn't mean for this to happen, Medley. I am incredibly apologetic about that. Get the heck out of there a minute. Well, I couldn't have fluffed that any up anymore. Die already! I wasn't expecting this. This sucks. What's the difference between the fire and normal hours? Oh, okay, right, so two... Yeah, alright, okay. Right, sorry about this, Medley. Um, that was actually meant to go a lot better than it did. We're going to have to go back up there now. Great. Hooray for backtracking. Alright. What I actually wanted to do was land nice and safely over here by this door. That was my intent because I normally do that. And it normally works. But I'm recording a video. Not the same principles apply. Oh yes. They call it Let's Play As Luck. I seem to have been a victim of it this episode. So that is great. That is just... That is just great. It's not a major mistake. I'm just thankful that the... Uh, <laughs> the floor master didn't get medley. That would have really kind of uh, annoyed me. Right, let's go down there and try not to make any silly mistakes anymore. That was one heck of a close call, but anyway, uh, this is the room that I was telling you guys about. Um, first things first, I want to get some light on the subject. 
using light. If you'd be so kind, Medley, to go ahead and fly over there on that platform there, because there is actually a switch over there. That is good. Thanks for being over there. Alright, so now we've got some light, and this room is filled up with mirrors. Kind of reminds me of that horror film. You know, the one called Mirrors. That was a great film. Anyway, we're done for now on that. Let's go ahead and just push some more of these uh, mirrors about. Try not to break any of them. Don't know what kind of horrors you'll unleash. Right, so pretty much immediately we have to do this uh, in a two-player fashion. Kind of need uh, Medley to get up on that podium there. And redirect some light into the corner of the room. You'll see why in just a second, but... Yeah, we kind of need a, just to position us over, over here like this. There we go. Right. Stay there a minute. Just about... About there we'll do. That should do it. Okay, this is all to try and get some more mirrors so that we can redirect light all the way uh, all the way around this room. Oh, there we go. We are okay. I didn't think I was uh, getting enough light here, so that's good. Unfortunately, we have to destroy all four of these uh, segments of walls. And each and every one of them has a breaking cutscene. Alright. I mean, I wouldn't say that this room is difficult. I would say that, that mainly it's a bit time-consuming. Because it's not really that bad. You just have to find the mirrors and position them into their places. That's, that's about it. I suppose the only hard bit could be um, finding where the mirrors are hidden. Like, for example, in that case, like behind walls. And there's actually a statue there with another one behind that. So you've just kind of got to look around here. And you can clearly see there's some chests in the room as well. Uh, don't worry about them just yet. I'm actually going to leave them till the end. Because when you clear this room... Oh, hang on a second, let me get her out of the way. Otherwise I'm going to be calling her and I don't really want to be doing that. I actually want to redirect some light over there. Yeah, when you clear this place, the chests actually uh, appear anyway. You don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to leave them to the end because I think you can shine light on them and then they appear automatically. But I think there's 50 rupees and a joy pendant in two of these chests in this room. Sorry, Medley, you're going to have to get out of the way just a minute. All right, so... After we've done this room, it's literally just a simple case of getting the the boss key. Which is, yeah, right off of this room. So, I don't see why we won't do this, this episode. So, let's just play it by here and see how we do. I mean, allow me to do them for 17 minutes. Uh, that could be interesting. Um, challenge accepted, I suppose, for the time being. Right, stay there a second. Let's try and get through this. Maybe I can make this a slightly longer episode. Maybe 25 minutes or something like that. Yeah, that, that could probably do it. It's normally when I start getting to the 30 minute mark where I'm starting to think, well, this is getting a little bit long. Can I... No, I can't redirect light off of that. Oh, I hate this sometimes. Right, just face me a second, Link. There we go. <laughs> Just a little trick you can do. It's not really a trick, but it's just uh, sometimes a little bit helpful. Alright, so I think we only have uh, two more mirrors in this room now, and that's about it. Then we get the boss key, we kill the boss, which is a ginormous ghost. It's a pretty fun bo uh, boss, actually. I only said boast. That would be kind of amusing. That's not the name of the boss, though. That'd be pretty ironic. So, how are we going to do this? Yep. Right, gonna need you again, Medley. Come over here. Getting a little bit too used to the command melody now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so just fly over to this little podium over here. It couldn't just be easy enough for us to get them from here. Oh no. No, 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 no. No, no. No, no, can't touch this. We've got to have Link over here as well. And then we have to redirect light over there as well. Uh, thankfully, uh, this 
point in the game, we don't really have to mess around with light and mirrors too much more. This is really only uh, the major time that we actually get to use the mirror shield. Uh, there isn't really loads of opportunities to use that. It's a pretty cool thing though, I have to admit. Might come in handy later on, we'll, we'll just see about that. But there we go, that actually clears this room. And there is another one of them head-like statue things with the, uh, the sun eyes. Let's just go ahead and fly over to that for the time being. Right, Medley, I think you're going to probably be better off on that podium there, so go ahead and get on that one. I wish this played like uh, Resident Evil Zero, where you could just play a button and then take control of the other character. That would be a lot easier. But no, the song, you kind of have to get used to playing that, unfortunately. Oh, come on, I want you to fly! There we are, right. Okay, one more time. One more time now. Right. Stay put while I get the other one. Oh, what the heck are you doing, Medley? You're killing me over here. You're actually freaking... You, you're actually killing me, Medley. You're killing me with psychological murder. And it's really not comfortable. You were facing it. What happened? What went wrong? Did you sneeze or something? Stay put. Alright, I'm going to watch this time. Right, good. I observed it. I saw it happen. If I look over there and it's gone... Right, okay, so it's safe. Ah, oh, jeez, alright. There we go, right. Alright, so similar principle before. It just <laughs> moves a lot of wool for us. And there is actually another door over there. And the chests, like I told you, um, now appear in this room. I would go ahead and get the rupees, actually. Where are they? I think that one might have the rupees in. Let me go ahead and grab this one. I'm not too worried about the... Uh, what the heck happened over there? <laughs> I'm not happy... Uh, I'm not worried about the, um, the joy pendant. Because I can get loads of them later on. What I actually want to do is go ahead and get the boss key now. Alright, come on, Medley. I don't even know if I need to take you with me. Probably not actually thinking about it. But I'm gonna do it anyway, I suppose. Okay, so, not a very long dungeon overall. Um, it has its moments, like this for example. I'm not a big fan of this. I'm gonna let him come over to me, because there's two of them skulls back there that have got that jinx smoke that they do. And trying to beat this guy with that going on is very tedious. So I'm just gonna take out this Dark Nut first. There you go, sorry about that. I know how annoying it is when you're trying to get up and someone keeps on hitting you, but it had to be done. It had to be done. Right, so where are you? It's probably these back two, is it? No, it's you two, all right. Well, you can immediately go back out. Yeah, you were waiting for the Dark Nut to be there to protect you, weren't you? Yeah, the distraction method, I see. Playing it innocent. Right, well, screw the both of you. I want the boss key because I want to get the heck out of this place now. Okay, right, and the boss door is just outside of that mirrored room, so yeah, I'm going to keep on playing and clear this dungeon. There's no point splitting this dungeon into three parts, I don't see the point. Right, we're done here, Medley. Um, the only reason I brought you here was just to show off my amazing skills and biceps, yeah. You never know what Link's uh, preferences are. Anyway, uh, do we need to, yeah, we need to take control of her again, seriously? Okay. Right, I'll see you up there, Medley. I'll see you up there, just give me one minute. <laughs> she just goes off and beats the boss without me, just single-handedly. I just get into the room and I'm like, what the heck's happened here? And she's got like four heart containers and I'm like, the fuck just happened? Right, so back up the long staircase. Unfortunately, we have got a little bit of climbing to do as well. 
But the first thing I'm going to do is actually send Medley up there, because we can't call her from all the way up there, can we? So again with the command melody. In fact, this might be pointless, because she can't actually enter the boss room with you, so again, I don't really know whether it's worth flying her all the way up here, but I'd rather she was by the door. Like, when you try and enter a room with her, he puts her down first, and uh, I think that activates um, some kind of command in the game, whereby when you leave a room, she's still there, making, you know, if that makes sense. If I leave her in the previous room, she's not going to be in the last room that I came in when I go into the next room. I think that kind of makes sense. I know what I'm saying. Someone does. Someone has to. Yep. Alright, let's go and defeat this boss. It kind of reminds me of uh, that giant boo-like boss in Luigi's Mansion, where it's made up of several different boos. Similar boss mechanic, and both made by Nintendo. I think they uh, use their ideas quite a lot, but this is what I meant when I go over to the door. He's like, "Right, you wait here. I got, I got some work to do." He leaves, but he leaves her behind. And now the game knows that she's just outside that room, so I just do that as a safety precaution. But this is like a ghost rave party, and they're scared of us, believe it or not. So what they do is they grow in size, they dim the lights. And oh yeah, Super Saiyan Ghost level 9000, alright, at your service. Okay. So this guy is not actually too difficult to beat. Um, again, we have to use the power of light. And this, this uh, kind of boss mechanic reminds me of uh, Super Mario 64, when you have to, def <laughs> have to throw Bowser around in these boss fights. But you remember the hurricane spin that I learned? Look at that, it just takes them out so quickly and saves you a ton of time. So that's another reason why I learned that skill from Orca, because it prepared me for this fight. Makes this fight incredibly quickly, actually. Oh! Oh, damn it, okay, that's, that's gonna leave a mark, alright. Alright. Alright, let's just get the heck out of there. What's going on? Are you, are you... No, okay, I thought you were going to blow air again and try and knock me into the spikes. Oh, there we go, nice. Because after a while, that light actually does disappear onto another hole coming out of the ceiling. So you've got to be prepared for that. Looks like I did it in just enough time. Right, let's try and take out a couple more of these. <laughs> you see that? It's like only four more now. So if you do this right, you can beat this guy in three phases. It's not a problem. What is this? Is this fire? Yep, this is fire. Good, you're aiming over there. Gives me a great opportunity to wreck your shit up one last time. I've actually done incredibly well on this boss. I say that, although I just threw him at the bloody wrong wall. That's me speaking too soon. Alright, so... Fourth time then, I suppose this will be. <laughs> Still, the N64 version, throwing Bowser around, that was incredibly bloody difficult to try and hit him on the exact uh, spot. Right, this should about cover it. There we go. That's that guy defeated. And this dungeon cleared. Nice. Yeah, you're not so tough now, are you? Where are you going? It's too bright outside for you. too bad your name's not Nork, otherwise I'd make a Spyro reference and say you're toast. Okay. Look at that skull just sitting in the, uh, the middle of the Triforce there. He's like, yep, this is my moment. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get the uh, the heart container. Be pretty pointless to leave that behind. We earned this. That puts us up to eight hearts. Right, we're done here now. Let's just get the heck out of this place. I am done with the Earth Temple. The next temple that we go to will be the Wind Temple featuring Maka. Uh, we need to go to uh, a 
certain place on the ocean first to meet the sage that's going to allow us to know the song, to then tell Maka, to then take him to the Wind Temple, and then we can clear that place. And that one can be a little bit tedious, I think. I actually think the Wind Temple is a little bit more uh, trickier than this one. And the place feels bigger as well, I don't know why. But the dungeon itself seems more spacious. And I think for the time being, this is probably going to be the last time we hear this song. And what we're doing here is we're working together to restore power to the Master Sword. Um, but we do need both the temples in order to restore it to its uh, original setting. So what this is going to do for us is not a, gr a great amount of stuff. It's actually just going to give our sword some nice R-wing-like wings. Right about now, in fact. There we go. Oh, looky here. Alright, so now we can do a barrel roll while swinging our sword around. Not bad. Okay. Hooray for the references. The power to repel evil is not yet fully awakened. To complete the awakening of the Master Sword, you must go to the Wind Temple for one more prayer. And that is where we are heading next, of course. Good old Maka. I haven't seen him in ages. Since the uh, Forbidden Woods, in fact. The Forbidden Forest, maybe? It's been so long I've forgotten the name of the place. <laughs> Forsaken for uh, Forsaken Woods? I think it's the Forsaken Woods, actually, thinking about it. Oh well, you know what I mean. The dark, creepy, spooky, plant-based woods near the uh, near the Forest Haven place. But that is going to be where I'm going to call this an episode. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.